So I completely screwed this up, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So I had this whole video sort of mapped out, but then I realized that this happened. And if you guys don't know what this is, this was my engine intake. Somehow this whole part burned off, uh, which I don't know when that happened. But also the whole thing bent. Uh, one of my uh, hyper tough thing kind of fell on it and then like my tool bag fell on it and it just quit squished the whole thing so Yeah We're gonna have to find a new filter after doing that whole intake modification thing that I did with my uh, stock intake I realized that I really miss the turbo sounds. I know, I know, it completely defeats the purpose of what I did with the whole engine intake uh, thing, but what I figured was maybe I could somehow modify the engine intake to take in less heat and therefore being a little bit cooler. Plus, a lot of the guys roasted me because, you know, hot air that passes through the uh, turbo um, and then it kind of cycles through the intercooler and the intercooler is really what's doing the job. And now that I have an aftermarket intercooler, then I shouldn't really have temperature problems. So, we have the engine tube, which is an aluminum. It's okay construction. It's like, it's nothing like my DFG stuff. Like my DFG stuff, um, all their pipes are like super sturdy and they look way better constructed than this. This is just like polished to look pretty kind of thing. What I'm gonna do with this is kind of actually modify it so that way it uh, it repels a lot of the heat in the engine bay or at least most of it and hopefully uh, runs cooler temperatures and also looks cool. So I went on eBay and I ordered this. So this right here, this is a gold uh, heat repellent thingamajigger. So I'm going with like a whole gold thing going on uh, underneath my engine bag. This is about five meters of tape. So hopefully this is enough to wrap the inner, uh, the intake tube because I actually ordered like, I ordered two of these and for some reason uh, the seller on eBay decided to just send me one. So I'm still waiting on the second one, but for now, uh, let's wrap this thing up. So there it goes, uh, all set up here. Uh, it was just enough to do the entire thing. So maybe it'll be, I have like a little piece here. So maybe that'll be good enough to wrap the uh, secondary uh, sort of tube coming down the side, which would be cool because then it'll kind of all match. But now the next problem I have is obviously the fact that my filter is completely ruined. So. I bought this engine like cap thing for the filter uh, and this is supposed to be like hydro proof or whatnot and since I cut out their front piece um, it'll allow obviously the intake to remain uh, waterproof. We need to head down to uh, AutoZone, find ourselves a new filter so that we can put it on this and sort of piece this whole thing back together. Now it's nighttime, lighting might not be as good but at least it'll get done and obviously this cap might look a lot better than the blue engine filter anyway, so I actually like it. This gold, black, red theme uh, going on underneath the engine bay, uh, I'm good to go on that. And I think uh, a few of my future mods are gonna be gold as well. So we're gonna remain with that theme. So let us uh, let me get dressed up. Uh, we're gonna head downstairs, stop by AutoZone, pick that thing up, install it, and I guess we'll finish the video somewhere on the road. So I have everything that I need right here. Headed to uh, AutoZone. Hopefully they have a filter that fits both the intake and also the, um, the shield itself. So wish me some luck. I'm really hoping to uh, finish this up tonight and be boosting, making boost noises again uh, for my trip this weekend. So medic manager, just so you know, I'll be in PA. Don't be surprised if I just pull up to the shop like psst. Shh. 
So this right here, guys, is my most convenient yet least favorite AutoZone because they never have everything that I need. So I'm actually going to leave the camera behind, uh, take the uh, shield with me as well as the intake and find something that hopefully fits. This is how you know people are screwed up in the head. I'm all by myself. There's a ton of parking spots up front, but everyone wants to park right next to the guy that's working on the cars. I don't know, maybe they think uh, I'm going to help them out, but regardless, guys, I found this uh, little generic AutoZone uh, filter, and it actually does the trick, so it's just a filter anyway for now. The, uh, the shield fits right over it, and it also mounts perfectly onto this right here, so I just wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like. There you go, it mounts perfectly onto it, and it looks sick, so we're going to get to sort of piecing this thing together here. Uh, it's in the dark, so I'm not going to be able to show you too much, but I'll try to show you what I can. Last piece of this whole thing is really just going to be to put this thing on, so that way it doesn't look like an AutoZone intake, it looks like some official stuff. So let me show you guys what that looks like right now. I know it's a weird sort of angle uh, because it's so dark at night, but check it out. It's all red. It's got the engine technology uh, sleeve on there, looking all gold. I'm also going to wrap probably a lot of these uh, hoses on this side so that way everything sort of matches. But that's going to do it, guys. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. See you in the next one. Peace out. sound that I missed.